hey guys welcome back to the channel today i want to show you a road that was constructed a few years ago by the Kaduna state government is actually a bypass that takes you away from the town when you're coming from abuja so that you don't have to uh get into the city to get to a certain part okay it's called the eastern bypass that is where i want us to take a drive through today so that i can show you all that we can find on that section of the road here we go guys Okay, we're gonna get on the bridge here. Um, we're gonna drive all the way on the Eastern Bypass. The reason why I'm actually trying to bring this uh, video to you guys is, like I said, to know where the road actually will take you to. Then two, uh, to help you also understand that when a road is built like this, it actually opens up the place for development. And so that we can see if people have started developing uh, in that area or not, even if they have not, so that you can have an understanding that this is the kind of thing that can be done in such places, you know. So we're on the bridge now. We're heading in. We're actually on the road itself, rather. rather. Like you can see in front of us, vast land. This road was actually built uh, and it cuts behind the Nigerian NMPC, you know, and it takes you all the way to um, a point just after NMPC where you can take a turn to, if you're going to Kacha or if you're going back to Sabo in Kaduna, you take a left turn. So let's go, let's see what we can find on the road. first and the last time I was here was uh, like three years ago or so. I'm not too sure, three, two years ago, I'm not too sure. And uh, when I drove on the road, I was actually shocked to see several communities, you know. And uh, what this road had actually done is open up the place because I learned that the people have bought a lot of, you know, you know how it is. People who bought land in this area at a certain time paid uh, a certain sum which was meager, you know. But as soon as the road was being constructed, they started constructing the road, the prices of uh, land in this area started shooting up, you know. And uh, people would tell you, no, there's a highway. <laughs> Everybody's taking advantage of the road and putting up their prices, you know, making their prices high. But then, generally, that's just how life is, you know. If you really think about it, if this place was, say, or if the situation that we hear about everywhere is calm, a lot of people would love to build in an isolated place like this, so to speak, where they will have some kind of peace, the place will be quiet, calm, you know. But um, because of all the rumors or the things you hear, you know, I'm sure some people will not want to do that right now. They may want to hold on to be sure that uh, you know, they, are, they, they, they don't, they're not getting, uh, they're, not, they're not hearing any bad news <laughs> before they come and start building. Anyway, this is the drive. This is the Eastern Bypass. Kaduna has two bypasses. It has the Western Bypass and the Eastern Bypass. The Western Bypass is has been here for I don't know, I want to say hundreds of years. I know it's not hundreds of years. I've been here for a long time and it's old. It actually ne needs resurfacing or, re or to be redone. But this Eastern Bypass is new. 
well paved, well spread out, quiet. As you can see, we've been only able to pass one, one a car also. I just saw one car that was entering to my uh, left at a point behind. That's the only car we have seen. We've seen a couple of bikes and a lot of farmlands. A lot of farmlands and cattle. Well, this place is getting is more developed. I can see good looking roofs and all that you see there. People are building here more than when we first started driving on this road. We have more houses on this side. I'm sure if this was in Abuja, some people have started building estates. <laughs> oh! If you can see the NMPC there, can you zoom into it? That's NMPC. I'm sure if we get to a certain point in front there, it will be closer, probably uh, in our line of sight. I can't remember the last time I heard NMPC produced anything. With all the crew that we have in the country, keep shipping them out to other countries and getting just peanuts back from them and spend it. It's just a messed up thing, man. Messed up. Messed up. I, in my opinion, let me not go political, but in my opinion, here's what I think. There are newer and better technologies to crack crude oil now and get diesel, petrol, and all those stuff from them than all these archaic thing we have here that they keep pumping money and renovating over and over again and it's not being renovated. Let me just stop a bit so I can show you guys properly because I feel can see it's just massive. NMPC in Kaduna is massive and uh, there is so much there is so much that we could be doing. I'm sure Wari Refinery is the same thing, maybe Potakot and all that. If they, if they were working, pr maybe probably by now we should even uh, have generated so much money to build other refineries in other places. I'm telling you, we can't be dependent on something like this that is gigantic and nothing is happening, you know. All right, let's just go. Let's take this drive. All right, still driving on the Eastern Bypass. We saw a truck, uh, sorry, tipper now a, a, a vehicle just overtook us. This is the first vehicle we're actually seen on this road since we've been on it. There is a small community to my left. I have no idea what it's called, but well, there's an old rail railway track to this side. This is the old rail, the train of those days, but not, not what is being used now. Yeah. All right, here comes another vehicle overtaking us. I think I'll ask the name of this village or this community so I can put it here so that you guys can uh, know what uh, this place is called. I was thinking maybe I'll find a signage or something that shows the name, but I've been checking, I've not seen anything. 
I think it's a factory here. I wonder what they produce. They don't even have a name on it. On their okay, the Nagara or something. Nagari or something, I don't know. Saw something on the roof there. Ungonjato. Okay, this place here is called Ungonjato. Yeah, that's Ungonjato you're seeing there. I believe because of the uh, this road that has been constructed, that's why we're having factories. You will have seen them on my left hand side. That's why we're having factories spinning up here and there, you know. Because that's what a road like this does. It opens up development in an, in an area. Alright, there's another sign somewhere in front. Let's see what's written there. Read or baggy or something like that. That's what's written there. There's a sign in front, I hope you can see that too. Katia Kapula Katia. Alright, I don't know how this works, whether we're gonna go under, whether there's a way we can get on top of this road. Probably that's the thing that should be. Okay, let's see. Okay, hey, alright guys, I don't know, let's drive on the road, let's see where it's going to take us because I actually wanted to end this video here, but I just thought about it, why not go ahead and see where it takes us to, alright, so I actually wanted to end it at this bridge here, but seeing that the road is still ongoing, well, it would be nice to show you guys, because that would be my first time of going on this one, because I actually stopped at that point, the first time I... Um, came on this road and this part was not constructed then. Uh, Deepal Live High School to our right. Let's go to the end of this road. <laughs> Whoa, let's see. <laughs> I wonder why they are driving on this side of the road. I truly wonder why. Anyway, well, that has given me an idea. If I'm coming, I'm going to join them. We're just meeting a new settlement here. I, okay, there is a sign, something in front. Let me slow down whether we can find Saint uh, Vincent Catholic Church and something. I don't know. So, I don't know. Anyway. Is still on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, I can, it kind of ends here, the blocks here. So let's see if there's a way we can go to the other lane. If there's not, we we'll just turn around. Oh my god. Okay, there is. There is. There is. <laughs> There is, we're gonna go on this road. <laughs> there is. Let me ask someone where does this road lead to? This guy, let me ask. Let me ask. Hello, welcome to the. Dala, na hanya na tei. Okay, in the jackass and the tapla. Oh, but okay. Oh, so not there with the Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now good. Okay, Sanjo. Okay. Let's go, guys. They just told me that there's a road in front where we can take so. Let's go. Let me come to this side of the road. Oh my god. I know in the comment section some people say, where are you going to big wheels? Don't go and get kidnapped. <laughs> I know it's not kidnapping is not a joke, you know, and all that, whatever we hear happen, but it's not a joke. But at the same time, I'm telling you, nothing is happening, you know. Let's go, let me show you guys where this road leads to. I actually have a feeling that it gets to Ngwani me somewhere in Ngwani me. And, um, well, let's see, wherever, if it's going to link us to the city from there, we might just take it and get into town. If we can, but if we can, we'll have to turn around and uh, end the video at that point, turn around and go back to town. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Please, if you do enjoy my video, hit the subscribe button. Let's grow this channel, okay? Hit the like, share among your family and friends so that they can also see this video. I mean, it's nice to see places that you've not been to and somebody's bringing it to you. It, it, it's, it's just nice, you know, you're in the comfort of your room. All right, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you love my content, please give me a like. Let me know you like this content. All right. Wow, this road is long. I, I cannot tell you how many kilometers this road is because I didn't actually start measuring whatever. But um, okay, from the video, I can I will be able to tell how long we've been on this road when I check, eventually check. The guy was telling me there's a road to my left that leads into town, which is actually this. I'm gonna ask this guy is here. Uh, just point it this way. Let me ask this guy. Put it down. Let me ask this guy. What guy? That like not one that you me. Tell him come. One number. Eh. Okay, 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 okay. You worry me, come. Come, I go there. Yeah. All right, guys, this was going to happen. I actually uh, enjoyed this drive. The road to my left now actually takes me into Ngwarimi, and uh, which is okay. We're going to drive there because that's how I'm going to get home now. And uh, we could go all this way. It will lead me to the river, River Kaduna, and the bridge has been constructed. I don't think it has been connected. I don't think so. So we're going to go this way. I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. Should I show you guys this road? <laughs> Maybe on another video because I, I guess it will be long too. But anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Subscribe, like, share, comment according to my son. See you in the next one. Ciao. Subscribe, like, share, comment. See you in the next one.